Utah. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Key 15, key 15. Tight right, tight right. Three down. 288. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number six was his intended receiver on the play. Third down. Roger, Roger. Mike seven. Mike seven. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And that will make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 31. The Utes, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. And they push him out at the 32-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Once and all, going deep. Got it to the senior. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 23-yard line, second down. Go, go. The halfback with a carry. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. Third down. He's hit and taken down. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Does it end, but it's not going to be enough. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Taken down at the 13 yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 13 yard line. It's second down. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Go, go, go. 
out of bounds around the 23 yard line. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 36. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. run up the gut. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 33. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Five wide. the juniors. Brought down around the 16-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and the defense anticipating pass here. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it 37. So we're looking at another third down here. Toss. And this one falls incomplete. Utah could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Utah's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 36. And down he goes. Right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Both 
folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. The Utes with a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Going deep. Almost intercepted. Number 22 was the intended receiver on the ball. That'll bring up fourth and nine. And this one is a beauty. He takes it in at the 14. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Utah is up by three. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. him hard at the 21-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's under pressure. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It out. He's met immediately. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Utah staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, and he hasn't played well, you go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. Tackle around the 49-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. Utah has a three-point lead. Now he's scrambling. 
And he's going to be sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number two was his intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 14. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 40, and they make the stop the 36-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And he's taken down at the 19. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Utah holds a field goal lead. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. That brings him second and goal. That's a great tackle at the three-yard line. He's taken down at the one. from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 79-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 10-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Tackle at the 29-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. They'll spread the field with five wide. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 29. Throws incomplete, knocked away. That brings us third and ten. Picked up by the defense. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble. With a 
last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. When you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do, he tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Number one, two, 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 makes the drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets rid of this one. It's second and goal. Ball on the three yard line. They'll bring him down around the three yard line. The Utes using their third and final timeout. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He makes it to the 28-yard line. We've played a half of football here. Utah's got a 13-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Well, as an iconic figure once said, that escalated quickly. Got away a little bit from this team that's supposed to be in control of the game, and now suddenly they aren't. And David, we, we say this every week. We say this team has to go into the locker room, make some adjustments. They have to change things, have to give a big speech. What's the most important, the most impactful thing that this team could do in the second half to turn this game around? Well, I think you, you come in the half and you do have those all those great speeches and you, the coaches do try to get you fired up, but then you realize that you just got to execute. And, and I think you don't come in as, as a favorite, as a more talented team and panic, and that's something that you can't do. So I think the second half, you come out and you try to get some positive things going. You try to get some first downs. Stop thinking about getting the 14 points back right away. Start putting drives together. Then you get points. Then you're down, you know, seven points or you're down one score. You get it more manageable. But listen, when you're the more talented team, you don't have to panic. And I think the coaches tell you, listen, nothing's changed. The schedule's going to stay the same. We just got to make more plays, less mistakes in the second half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Number Reese, three, David, thanks, seven, guys. Seven, second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Complete and he's hit right away. They'll get him for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Third and five situation. Ball on the 30. They'll make the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
and he's taken down at the 37-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made at the 37. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. He has some room. Brought down at the 45. That's good for him. That'll bring up 32. He makes it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Gives it off. Nice run there as they work the outside. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 12. Coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. Colorado ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. The Buffaloes have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Utah up six. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. throw incomplete one of his receiver that pass led him just a little bit too far but still great effort from their own 26 yard line third down and he tackles him hard at the 13 yard line that's a loss of 13 that makes it so
Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four down, four down. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. Three down. Two and down. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 21. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Gets out to about the 18-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Utes in front by six. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Got double tight. Double tight. Four down, four no. down. Two and Two motion, motion. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. Okay, just like that. Just like that. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Tackle at the five. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. From the five-yard line, it's second down. Let's get off the field. Mike seven, Mike seven. Caught for the touchdown, and we are all tied up. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Four yards have been tough to come by for both these teams. But it's been ugly to watch. The only thing you can really say is at least it's competitive still in the fourth quarter. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 31-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, 
And the defense counters with their dime look. He passes it. Incomplete pass. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. He spent all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Colorado is up one. He's scrambling, and he hits him hard at the 26. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He delivers. Caught with room to work. And he got it. The 10. Touchdown, Buffaloes. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. Quick throw, almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets rid of this one. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Full out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Look at the scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. That brings us third and twelve. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line.
Just over a minute left. He's going to air it long. What a pick. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 37. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. The youth using their third and last timeout. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. close I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome but that doesn't mean it won't happen so they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up they'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one and they got him and so that's going to do it the Buffaloes take this one 21-13 as we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? There's a reason why we don't play these games on paper, and we just witnessed it. Utah did not play the type of game they're capable of playing, but you have to give credit to the other team. They showed up to play, and they weren't intimidated in the slightest. This broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.